Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to... Oh god, the boys are so loud. Why did I start here? Uh, welcome back to my Let's Play series. So, I have been away for a while, and I've been moving, which is why my videos have been lacking. I did post the blacksmithing video the other day. Um, I have been working on this a little bit in my, like, off time to the extent of, um, I have, I have done this. This is all I've done, uh, and it's taken so much to do. Uh, my shovel dying, so much sand. But, the process basically that I use is, I use a block, like, shooty machine. I think I've got it set up still over there somewhere. Let's go see if I can find it. My block shooty machine. Where did I last place it? Uh, um, <laughs> so yeah, we've made some progress with this. Not an awful amount of progress, though. Where did I... I don't have the parts for it. Uh, maybe I was setting it up here. I don't know. I did try at one point, what I tried to do initially was just like spam sponges down and that's why we've got this but it didn't really work as well as I hoped but I have also the thing I've also done is I've kind of started making a circle uh, it's very difficult I've done like a semicircle and it's so hard to um, to do because I keep getting shot <laughs> and also circles are hard in Minecraft so they mess up sometimes Oh, oh, where's that? Where is it? There it is. Maybe we can get a trident. Oh, that was not a dodge. That was not a dodge. That was not a dodge. <laughs> that was not a dodge. I want your stick. That was not a dodge. 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 He didn't drop it, but we took an obscene amount of damage trying. <laughs> oh my god, that hurt. <laughs> Not that bad, we've got decent armour, but still. Um, we do actually need to try and farm those guys at some point, because I want to be able to make the beaker, like the underwater beacon, the conduit. That's why I want to be able to make. But for now... Um, I just sort of wanted to jump back in, really, because I don't fully know what I want to do this episode, but I don't want to keep working on the sand thing. That's kind of like a work on that out of hours project, because that's going to be real boring for you guys to watch. So, I'm thinking a couple different things. Firstly, I'm thinking maybe we secure the tunnel and bring across the animals to here, because we do need to start making the farm, or... I'm not 100% sure, but we need to basically do something this episode, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and I've I've got this list, obviously. So tree farm slash auto farmer, nah. And I'm not going to do the, the iron farm right now, because I've forgotten how to build one. I know it requires, like, a villager in the sky and then lava and stuff, so I need to look into that. I've kind of jumped into this very haphazardly. Uh, <laughs> when, when have I not, though? Um, let's... While we talk, let's harvest. Harvest this stuff, because we can sell. Let's hoe that as well. Um, we can at least go and sell all of this, get some more um, golden carrots, because that is the, the food supply I have been using for now. Uh, just grab all of the seeds, give it a quick replant. There we go. Um, yeah, the, I mean, the iron golem farm is kind of working in the sense that the nether is full of iron golems, and I'll show you that in a second. They just keep walking in there, and then when they walk in there, another one spawns, obviously. Because there's enough villagers now for that to happen. Um, let's bin these first, so we have inventory space. There we go, because we've got a lot of sand. Because, of course, I've been just mining sand mindlessly to try and be able to do that. Because it takes so much sand. Um, that's one of the reasons I haven't completed the circle, either. Is because... To complete the circle, it would require a lot of me. Um, it would literally require me to spend so much sand, whereas if I do half of it, I can recoup that sand and then just do the other half. 
um, which is sort of my plan. <laughs> to avoid spending so much time on sand harvesting. There we go, let's go and sell all of this for emeralds. And what we'll do is we'll put this in our offhand so this gets repaired. There we go. Uh, not you, not you, not you, you, there we go. Take the potatoes. Take the potatoes. Take the potatoes. Take the potatoes. Take all the beets. There we go. So the shovel's kind of like partially repaired. Not really. Um, I did. Did I make another librarian that I didn't tell you guys about? So this is silk touch and channeling, and multi shot, and then. Uh, and then. And then this one. Oh yeah. So I haven't actually decided what I want him to be yet. Because he didn't give me anything good enough. I know I have that mending villager. Oh, do you know what we could do, actually? We could bring him across. Because it's getting very annoying going all the way back for those villagers. That would be a little bit of a, a time-consuming task. It's not that far in the nether, but we'd need to secure our nether. Do you know what, actually? That might be what we're going to do today. We're going to go and tidy up our nether, because man, is it bad over there. We need more chests. Oh my god. Um, you can see that I've been... Digging sandstone and sand. Uh, yeah, we're going to do some nether, like, raiding and stuff. So we'll take our bow for that, for sure. Put those away. We're also going to take this pick instead of the fortune one. Um, yeah, and then we just need arrows. Oh, we've got a stack on us, that's fine. Um, I just need to put this sa sand away somewhere. Fine. Go into this chest for now. This is my, hey, go and clear the... the <laughs> Go and clear the bloody... That shit. It's looking good, though. It's looking good. Once it's all sort of ready, we're going to coat it in glass and everything, and it'll look... Oh, it'll look ever so sweet. Uh, so let's take some cobble with us. Let's put this away for now. Let's put this away. We didn't even buy the carrots that I said I was going to buy. Uh, that's always good. Um, yeah. So let's go and try and sort out our nether a little bit. Let's take some other blocks, like... Just anything. I haven't been mining. Honestly, I've done very little on this world because um, of just... Oh, we could have harvested all of that as well because I put Silk Touch on the axe now. So it's a bit better. But we need to work on our nether. And you'll see why. Because it's very exposed. There's so many of these guys here. Um, it's very exposed and I'd like it to be a bit more organised because currently this is our horrible route over here. And then we go down and turn. There's another one there. Oh no, that's a skeleton. And I should set up a bit of an easier way to the fortress, which is over there. So let's get tidying, I think. So let's just come over here. Ah, oh, the shovel. Oh, I've got it on me. Nice. It's going to die a little bit, though. Oh, look at it, though. This is... This is the shovel I've been using for clearing sand, because it is a dream, I tell you. A goddamn dream. Just like, insta-mining everything. So let's just, for now, put a little bit of a, a stony border here. For the sake of just having something that isn't soul sand. <laughs> like, this has been so needed for so long, and I've just been putting it off because it's such a, such a weird task to do, but... I wonder, actually, if... Just to get you out of the way. Are you still, like, in there a little bit? Yeah, there we go. Um, I wonder if, actually, we can go from here... Because it's... Wait. It's over there. Mm, no, probably not. Uh, we need to just organise this a little bit, though. Get it a bit tidier. Get it a bit neater. Um, make sure that... Is this different stone? No. Okay. It just looks different. That's fine. Um, I just kind of want to make sure that we're not, like, just immediately exposed to anything. Because ghasts tend to shoot this direction when I come into the portal pretty quickly, if I'm honest. I don't know why we're using deep slate for now. It's a nice brick, though. I'm not actually mad at it. My guy! 
Oh, my guy! <laughs> Don't fucking stand in this, you Egypt! Stop! Um, I was like, looked at the wrong one, turn around just to see this ball of death staring back at me, just like, help me. <laughs> oh, that's all of our deep slate gone. <laughs> wow, we only need other materials. We should also, at some point, actually go and, and that might be something we do now, is go and raid the, um, the piglin bastion that's like this away. There we go. I just wanted to, I just want to clear out a little bit more of this, so we've got a bit more of a, a bigger path, and I mean with this pick it's nothing, so. We do also need to get an XP farm closer to the house, because I'm getting a bit bored of when I need experience, which I've needed a lot while farming sand to repair my tools. I'm getting a bit bored of running all this way, going all that way, just to get to um, our... Or I just need to make this trip quicker, is one of two options. There we go. We need to make sure if he's dropped a tear, we can collect that. Because tears are valuable. Mmm, gas tears. Tasty. Tasty morsels. Uh, no tear, just gunpowder. Okay. I hate being in this part of the biome, because it's so difficult to traverse. I need soul speed as well. That's what I need. I need many things to survive out here. But for now, we're just trying to, um... I think this is my silk touch pick anyway. So, it doesn't matter mining ores. Because I'm still going to be able to fortune them when I get home. What's happening? I got disorientated there. Uh, we need to get rid of this, 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 this. Yeah, we need a quicker way through the nether, maybe. Maybe that's my solution, rather than trying to completely move uh, a source of experience. Although, to be fair, we could also just make, like, a guardian farm out of the, um... We could make a... We could incorporate a guardian farm into our house, I'm sure. I'm sure that's not completely impossible, right? I don't know if that is impossible or not. Oh, look at that slowdown. Ugh. That's just for now. It's not going to be the final material, but just to make sure that it's not on the floors. Get rid of this. Because when it's on the floor is probably the worst place it can be. I would rather it anywhere else. So let's just tidy this up a little bit. It's dark in here as well. Maybe torches should have been a thing I brought with me. Yeah, let's quickly go back and get some torches while we're doing this. Um, let's just also do this. Again, not on the floor, please. Oh, almost. Well, we can give this a little bit of symmetry if we just do that. There we go. Looks a little better. Um, let's go get our torches. Torches. Um, so that we can brighten up the world. Torche? Torche. Well, there's some sticks. Oh, uh, I think I know where my torches are. And it's not a place I enjoy going to right now. Bastard. Okay, cool. It's fine. I just think they're in the, um... I think they're in the fortress. Uh, not in the fortress, in the temple. Underwater temple. But for now, two stacks will do us just to get going. Yeah, that's fine. I just need to make sure I've got my food on me and this as well. Yeah, that's fine. Golden carrots, the most greatest food and so cheap. I think I, it's like one for five or something. I don't know why I pay for these. I think, I, I think I'm looking at the price. There we go. Stop it being so dimly lit. Just want to at least like brighten up my path. I'm going to try and make this look a little bit better. I think this is probably the standard size I'll go with. So what's this? Four by three? Oh. Kind of want four by... F One, two, three, four. Yeah, I kind of want four by four now. Does this look nice? Would it be worse with a taller ceiling? Maybe. We'll leave it like this for now. And we'll, we'll carry this sort of like... One second. 
I heard that bastard. I just can't see him. Oh, I knew you were going to turn for me. But my bow is much superior, you little bitch. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. We're just going to widen this a little bit. So we can at least not just, like, run down one side and just plummet. And we probably should fill in that lava hole. Because didn't we fall in that one episode? Wasn't that almost death? I mean, we've died multiple times since then. <laughs> but still, that's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is we should try and avoid death as much as possible. Because it scare me. Oh, do you know what we could maybe do? A blaze farms a thing. Do people make blaze farms regularly? I don't know. Um, I've not seen one. Maybe I'll have to look at a blaze farm. Because if we can get to the blaze uh, spawner quickly, that might not be the worst. We also need to build a portal, I think, inside the um, ocean temple. I think that'd be cool. So we'll have one above ground. Because I still think I'll use that base for maybe some things. Like that might be where the farms are or something. I don't know if I want to move the farms actually down. That might be way better to move the farms down. I don't know. I'm really sort of lost with what I want to do with it right now. I think I just need to get it cleared. And then once it's cleared, I'll have so much more ideas for the space. But because I don't have the space available to me right now, it's uh, a little bit annoying not to know what I'm going to do with it. Um, and then it will just go like this, right? Yeah, and then we'll carry this along like that. Yeah, that's fine for now. Let's also, as we were talking about this, do this real quick. We're not going to, like, fill in the hole. We're just going to cover it. Because if we can't see it, it's not a problem anymore. Am I right, guys? <laughs> My god. Uh, I'm so sorry, by the way, for how long it took me to come back to playing. Um, it's just like this whole move. I still don't know if the audio is going to be that great in this room because my mic's in a different place. The room has probably different uh, echo and stuff, but we're going to sort of see what we can do. I don't plan it to be like the, the most fantastic to start with, but we're going to see what we can get going with this. Um, I'm still loving the support that everyone gives. It's amazing. Makes me smile every time I see a comment still. So keep up the good work. You're absolutely champions and you know what because we're we're sticking with this sort of like cobble and netherrack look right now i'm just going to continue it all the way to here <laughs> because it's only cobblestone we do need to start mining though and i think realistically what i want to do is i also want to try and get a, the wither skulls which is why i need easy access to the um to the fortress so that i can get uh so i can fight a blade a blaze uh, a wither because I think I've got the gear where I could I could beat a wither now. Like, what have I got? Sharp 4, and then I've got power 4 here. And what I'd do is I'd do the thing where you just, like, you mine a really long 2x2... Two two tu 1x2 tunnel. Sorry. Um, and then from there, you basically just... Um, let's just mine this out. So you mine the 1x2 tunnel, and then you literally get... Uh, the wither to slowly just like run through it and they can't hit you as easily and I think that's the plan because if they can't hit me as easily I can just sort of like whittle him down with the bow from a distance maybe I could even make some damage arrows because uh, I know how to make those you just got to put a damage potion in a cauldron and I've got everything for po for brewing so not really worried about the brewing aspect of it just need to then fight him and then I can do some speed mining underground and I think that would help us with resource gathering and all sorts so that's definitely a, a plan because we need to get more I need to do more mining if I'm honest I'm neglecting one side of the Minecraft experience which is the mining side I don't know where my 4x4 should be centred I'm going to have to look in a second when we go back to the other side here we're going to have to move these magnet blocks as well because they will burn my toesies and I don't want to burn my toesies there we go. I don't know how weird this must sound to my flatmates. I haven't actually told them I do this. So they probably just hear me yammering onto myself right now. Just going like... Bah, 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 bah. Okay, so it needs to be centred on here. So we just need to go another one this way. That's fine. Just to make this way more clearer. It's so dark in here though. We're going to put the torches once I remove another one in height. Whee. Not that magma blocks are going to kill me. But, you know, you still want to... You still want to not 
just like blitz my toes. This is going to be the annoying part, is bridging over the lava in a, well, I guess just four blocks along across the lava is what I'm doing, because I'm not doing like major work otherwise. But yeah, let's, let's get this, this widened so that then we can have a bit of a better path. And maybe, maybe I'll open it up to some submissions of what the hell should I make this look like? If you have an idea of what you think I should make this tunnel look like, like a wacky idea, a cool idea, let me know. And I'll, um, I'll try and either recreate it or if you want to send me like images or I don't know how you send me images, but I've got a Twitter, technically. I do have a Twitter. I think it's linked in my description, in fact. So, I mean, send me some, follow me on Twitter, send me some images of what you want this pathway to look like and I'm sure we can definitely start to model it after anything that you guys think would be cool. Just, I mean, if you want to make it really ridiculously expensive, go for it, but it, just bear in mind it will take a, a hot second because we are not rich yet. Hopefully the iron farm will help with that a little bit um, and then we can actually um, we can actually start using iron a bit more because we're going to need the iron farm for the, the wither anyway because to build the beacon we're going to need the iron so that's something we need to remember to do but we can do that after we've killed the weather there's no issue with doing it afterwards i just want to make sure that i have the resources to build a beacon as well because it's going to be pretty dumb if i just hold on to a like a wither staff for 90 episodes and then go finally like oh i've 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 harvested enough iron from the ground to build this now right <laughs> I imagine there'll be a lot of people very angry at me for just holding on to a nether star for so long. But yeah, we'll kill a couple, we'll get a, a couple beacons going in different places, and then hopefully that'll give us a, a really nice, a nice footing. <gasps> Death man! Oh, you bastard. We just built that. Where are you? Brick? Come here! Oh, you're there! Bastard! I see you now. Come up. Come up. It's just sunk into the lava. Like a madman. Hello? Hello? <gasps> Hello? Death. This is why we can't build this out of netherrack, though. This is our issue. Especially with the bridges over lava. This isn't that bad. Like, that's fixed. But like when we come to like over here, where we're bridging over a lava lake, if we take a explosion like that, we're just gonna die. Um, I don't think our armor is anywhere near good enough to um, give us the protection that we're gonna need from a ghast explosion and then falling into the lava. Like we'll survive an explosion for sure, but like the plummet into the lava below and then not having any way to, um, to fix that will be a real issue um, and I'm hoping it's one that maybe we won't ever encounter because lava death is such a sad death until you've got netherite and we know I don't have netherite that's gonna that's gonna be a long off episode as well I feel like we need to do like a sheep farm maybe and do bed mining I know that's one of the like approved strategies of like hey you're gonna get real good drops if you bed farm Oh, do you know what? I'm so happy we're, we're doing this, actually. This already improves my attitude on running through the nether tenfold. We do need to make it faster, obviously, but besides the speed of it, this is just like, I don't feel as cramped. I don't feel as sad. I feel pretty great, if I'm honest, running through the nether like this. It feels like we're actually developing the world. And I'm hoping to keep this series going for a long time. I think this is one of probably going to be longer running series unless there's like a critical reason why I can't um, keep playing on this world. I will probably just keep going and going and going. I'm sure that's what everyone wants to hear. Uh, continue playing a boring series, please Ollie. We love to see you do nothing every day, every hour. Well, it's happening. Get used to it. <laughs> Super angry. No, no. Uh, wow, this this really got ruined, didn't it? There we go. I think that was. I think we left a hole there. There we go. Um, ow! Prick. See. Okay. Uh, we need to remove these blocks here. Let's just 
just quickly get rid of those. Lovely. Get rid of these pricks before they burn me. Lovely. So now we can just blitz the roof a little bit. Give it a little spicy haircut. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be an issue though. With, with making the bridge bigger. Wow, really? There we go. We are going to have spawning happen on the bridge, which won't be good. But as long as we see them before they see us, I reckon we're fine, right, guys? Like, I bowed him to death and he didn't know I was there. So I reckon that's, like, a big okay. And if not, we get some pork out of it, right? Some free pork. Delicious. Man, the ceiling on this part is just <laughs> gone. Okay, not that it's not already lit up by the glowstone, but still. There we go. Look at that. It's looking great. And this is like the final stretch to our, um, to our home. This part of the bridge was probably the most nerve-wracking, because this is where I've seen, um, zombie pigs, zoglins, or whatever they are, spawn constantly. We're going to that next, by the way. Just to let you guys know, that is the plan. We go into there next. We might rotate my portal at the end here because I know it's facing the wrong direction for this bridge. Uh, and it might be nice just to have it like a little bit shifted. Just so it would look a bit cleaner. But we'll we'll have a think about that. We could also do with getting one of these striders as like a, a pet because they'd be quite handy just to have for um, traversing the nether. Sometimes they spawn with saddles on. Um, I know there was that immense dream clutch where he did that. Question is whether that was uh, rigged or not. Um, sorry, it's just not going to shit on someone for no reason. I don't know if he, I don't know if he's just that fucking lucky or what, but it was lucky. I tell you that. If this is the place though, because we go over so much lava here, this is the more nerve-wracking one. Where if a ghast spawned, we'd have to just like sprint because that's. That's death. Like, if we fall somewhere here and we go too deep, getting to any bit of land is going to be a real mission. But this feels a lot safer. I, I always feel a very sketchy when I run across a one heart, one, <laughs> like, one width uh, piece of fucking netherrack in the nether. Like, this is like... Oh, God, see? XP farm, though. There we go. Uh, keep going, just keep building, 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 and we'll build over there and we'll get some some stuff and it'll look good. But yeah, we need to try and maybe make this bridge look nicer because currently just netherrack across the nether is not a good look. Should we just build it out of pure netherrack blocks? Just pure netherrack. Nothing but netherrack. <laughs> oh my god. We might actually have to do a part two to this episode. I didn't think this would take this long. Where are we at? We're at 28 minute mark, roughly. Oh, tasty episode. Well, there's definitely going to be a part two of this because we've got to go over to the Bully Fortress. This is Nether Renovating Part 1. Nether re Renovating Part 2 up in a day or two's time. Please be patient. I love you all. I love your faces. You're good people. Uh, what was I going to talk about anyway? Oh, uh, yeah. Anyone ever sold anything on eBay and been really disappointed? Because <laughs> I sure have. I put a, I put an old, um, not old to be fair, like it's still worth 300 quid as a, as a whole thing, uh, router up on eBay. Because of course, I used to live with friends, so I used that router to sort of improve our Wi-Fi. But now that I live in a room share here, I don't really want to mess with the Wi-Fi too much. Because it can be such an issue to be the person who has to fix the Wi-Fi. And I don't want to be that person here. So I've actually just sort of left it all. And I had it sitting in my room here. And I was like, I just don't, there's no point in me keeping it. And I'm doing a huge declutter since I've moved here. Because, like, I don't want to have a load of stuff. Ooh. 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 Danger. I didn't realise how many things would spawn. Okay, we need to keep an eye on that because we don't wear gold when we run through here and they will just try and ruin us for that. Might have to put some gold boots on either side so that we have, like, gold stations. I guess it's quite a big platform now for them to spawn on. I didn't really... 
think that part through, if I'm quite honest, did I? But anyway, going back to my story. Um, I was selling an old router with, like, um, it had its uh, a modem included with it. Because it was it's just a router, so when you just buy a router, you need to buy a modem separately. Uh, fun facts about nerdy stuff. Um, oh, that's that was a ghast. Okay. Um, we're across anyway right now, so that's fine. I just want to... There we go. And this side is so weak. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, I was selling that, and you set a starting price. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to set 80 quid as a start. It's worth 300 pounds. So I set a buy it now of 80 quid, and then I set a... Um, I set... Yeah, so buy it now, 80 quid. Starting price... Wait, no, buy it now, £200, Christ. Starting price, 80 quid. Because I was like, do you know what? I want to get people looking at it. I want to get people interested in bidding. So I was like, I'll set the starting price quite low. A couple days go by, a couple people have seen it, but nobody's, like, watching it. And I'm like, that's really annoying. Because I don't really want to just have to keep this. Because uh, it's just pointless me keeping a router that I'm not going to use. Am I right? Um, let's move this while I talk. Ooh, let's not move it yet, because... <laughs> This boy doesn't have a flint and steel on him. Um, so yeah, I was like, buy it now, 200 sure, and then like you can just like start bidding at 80 if you want. Gets to day like, gets to near the end, and there's like five people watching it. So I'm like, oh, cool, cool, cool. So it's going to be like a little bit of a bidding war here. That's what I like to see, because like I don't want to just like sell it for 80 quid. A uh, couple minutes like left of the bid. Somebody bids the 80 quid. I'm like, okay, here we go, here we go. It's, it's starting now, it's starting. Uh, then nobody bids anything else, and it sells for 80 quid. And I'm sat there now like, oh, <laughs> great. Do we have any iron? Christ. Um, do I, am I really going to go dig for some fucking iron? Just, <laughs> like, surely. Surely we have, like, a piece of iron, right? <laughs> no? <laughs> and we don't have any flint either. Uh, okay, well, we won't move the portal yet, then. Um, what I will do is... What we'll do is I'll finish the story, and then we'll call it there. To be fair, the story is actually finished. <laughs> so, anyway, the man bought it for 80 quid, and I was just like, fuck. <laughs> and that's my story. <laughs> of how I sold £300 worth of tech for 80 quid. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. I'm going to cry now. <laughs> okay, so thank you for watching this episode of Nether Renovating Part 1. Part 1. Part 1. Uh, and I will see you in Part 2 where we're going to build off... We're not really going to do this. We're going to maybe tackle the Bastion a little bit. And we're going to build a road from the end to the fortress. So that we have easy access. Because we needed this road to be a bit better. So we could go home. Well, old home to new home and stuff. So anyway, thank you very much for watching everyone. You're absolute fabulous little people. And I'll see you in the next one.